in terms of the business's trajectory over the last eight, nine years, talk to me about that. Have you seen the business grow? Yeah, and sure. what do you think, you know, looking back in hindsight, have been the key growth strategies um, that you've actually employed and that have been successful for you? Yeah. Um, definitely social media marketing. Like there's a huge emphasis on that nowadays um we kind of drew away from the tangible pamphlet drop and drew closer to social media marketing especially things like mailchimp Mm -hmm. building a um an audience through mailchimp i think we're at 2000 which is good because if i have a quiet day i just boom send out an email say this is our special Mm. get those numbers rolling yeah and for people who are listening what, what is mailchimp so mailchimp's a program and um, uh, you kind of put a link on your website. So in our case, we got to sign up to this, our weekly newsletter, get a free Nutella Cal Zone. They sign up, boom, they join our mailing list. Then every week I systemize it, I schedule a post. So I offer an incentive like a promotion, say half price pizza mm. or whatever it may be. And then I schedule it and I like to send it. So what you can do with MailChimp, and send, instead of sending a bulk of emails, you can spread it in four or five parts. So say every half an hour, send it to this percentage and half an hour this per- So you're covering a mm. bigger range. So some people might be on the bus on the way home from work at five and they're looking at the phones from five to 5.30. So you boom, target mm. that. Some people, when they get home, they quickly sift through their emails, target that and then mm. et cetera, et cetera. In your opinion, the email marketing is very effective. Has, For sure, it, especially with iPhones these days. People are so addicted to their phones. As soon as they get a notification, they're whipping it out. Mm. And they go, oh, Luigi's is having a special hot price pizza. I'm down for that. Mm. I'm tired from work. I can't be bothered cooking. <laughs> yeah, of course. Back in the days when people didn't have, weren't as addicted to their mobiles or mobiles didn't have the capacity to do that mm. and they had to go home and you know log in, go through their emails like that. Maybe not as effective, but definitely more effective now. Definitely. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that's that's true. And and the fact you can set it up for those times and you can select who which people yep. uh, I feel is so effective. Besides MailChimp, would that be the number one tool you have? No, definitely. Facebook would be the number one tool. So, so, yeah, um, how do you use that? So much value for money in Facebook. So just um, concentrating your demographics, bringing it down. And then just promoting posts or... Yeah, so for those of uh, those listening who don't know, when you make a Facebook ad, it actually allows you to make an ad and then you can select the radius yeah. uh, that you actually want the ad to be pushed to. So you can, for instance, say, I only want people in North Ride, the suburb of North Ride, to see this ad. Yeah. And you can put that in and say, within a five kilometer radius, who's your target market? So now no one outside of that suburb will see the ad yep. and you can actually select the age as well, right? You can yep. select the gender. Yep. Uh, what are some insights you've got from that about who buys the most pizza? Like uh, any insights on age, gender? Um, I, I, I assume area of the most popular is the locals. Yeah, <laughs> definitely younger families, 100% younger families. So I've got this thing now that you've probably seen, the pizza bibs. You know, there's cartoon graphics on the inside of the pizza boxes and people fold them up. Is this in the shop you have this? Yeah, in the actual pizza boxes. On the inside, there's a little pizza bib. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll pay attention to it next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they had that, but it graphic. works really well with kids. And um, kids will nag and nag and nag and say, I want Luigi's pizza. I want Luigi's pizza because of that. Because you know, of little the bib. Novelty. Yeah. yeah it's like colorful. That. It's like uh, Simpsons-esque in a sense. Kids like to play around with it and they love that cartoon logo and things like that. How did you know to try that? Was Did anything in particular give you that inspiration? Actually, a company approached us and then I was like, yeah. I mean, I did the I did the maths and it, it was something like an extra two cents for the boxes I was already paying for. So I said, no. Nah. You got upsold. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it was, an, it was a good investment, yeah, yeah. it sounds like. It'll pay for itself. So. Any other strategies you've used specifically? We're talking about Facebook okay. ads. Facebook, yep. social media, uh, definitely working with the schools around here. So when they, whenever they have fundraisers or school fates, mm. offering them vouchers and things like that. And then they get up and they spread the word like, hey, we're doing a raffle and you can win this. You know, I, I usually put three vouchers, one for $100, one for 50 and another for 50 And enter this raffle, you can win this coupon to Luigi's plus a basket of other stuff. 
Yeah, that's such a good idea because it's basically you're giving people a credit. You're giving them money basically, but it's only money that they can spend at your restaurant. Yeah. Uh, right, so it's yeah. very clever. I mean, yeah. give someone a 50, you know, you'll win $50 and then you give them $50. Like you just have to spend it at the restaurant and the odds yeah. are they will spend more than that or, yeah. or they will at least come back after they have yeah, it once. Sure. Yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, but that's 50 bucks you lose it. But mate, that's, that could be $1,500 you're making through the year that, or more. That's right. You know, and it just pays for itself. Mm. And um, yeah, definitely getting involved with the community community is a big factor and it feels fulfilling as well it feels like to have people recognize you and you recognize them it's it's a good feeling 